Hey guys, it's Kirsty Harris here coming to you from the Harris Family Kitchen. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself. I am the business manager at the Metabolic Meltdown. Um, I'm also Matt Phelps' sister. He's the owner and creator of the program. And I've been with Matt for quite some time from all the way back when we had about you know, 20, 25 clients, um, most of whom we still have today, which is awesome and I think speaks for itself. Um, but from the time when Matt used to sit at the end of each month and manually plug in credit card numbers into a terminal. Um, so I kind of hopped on with him then and I currently handle all the memberships, bookkeeping, um, everything behind the scenes pretty much that has to do with uh, the membership side of things. So yeah, a lot of you have emailed or texted me maybe even 50 times and we've never even met before. I do a lot of work from home or from a satellite office. So hi guys, nice to officially meet you. Um, today I just wanted to give you a brief backstory on my own journey with the metabolic meltdown. Um, and also at the end, really excited for this, um, sort of introduce you to a segment we're gonna do called In the Kitchen with Kirsty, where I'm going to show you how to whip up some awesome macro-friendly um, dishes and, and dinners and stuff like that. So just to give you a little background on, you know, my own fitness story and, and who I am and what the metabolic meltdown has meant to me um, personally, I um, have two kids who I am so proud of. I have Amaya, who will be five in June, and then Ava, who turned one a few weeks ago. Um, and they play such an integral role in my own fitness journey. Um, before I had kids, I didn't really have to work out to kind of look the way I wanted to look. Um, things just sat where they sat and were lifted and everything was great. And then I had my daughter Amaya and I noticed that, you know, things changed and I didn't necessarily like those changes. So it was time for me to do something about them. Um, I came to Matt in the metabolic when Amaya was just about 10 months old. I was going on a bachelorette party and I wanted to look good. So Matt, you know, worked with me about two months in the program and did some nutritional coaching for me. Um, and that was that. I started then. Um, and from that point on, I pretty much worked out consistently at least two to three times a week. Um, my sister-in-law, Kara, would be nice enough to take my daughter Amaya for me so I could get to the gym. Uh, my husband at the time was overseas playing basketball, so it was hard to juggle everything with a lack of child care. Um, but Matt always said he'd rather see me two or three times a week consistently for a year than, you know, five or six times a week for a month and then drop off. So that was an important lesson that then I also tell clients who I know are busy, busy moms, you know, busy with work, just come when you can make your own, you know, what's consistent for you. It, it's enough. So that was after Amaya. I got pregnant with my daughter Ava. And actually during that pregnancy kind of picked up my fitness game. I did a, a fit pregnancy I worked out at the program um, five to six times a week um, and had an amazing experience um, with that, with doing a fit pregnancy. And it's so cool now to see, I think we have like 12 pregnant clients in the program, um, sort of carry that out and, and really prioritize health and fitness during that time too. But I gave birth to my daughter, Ava, in April of last year. Um, and then it was time to prepare for my wedding. Um, I gave myself 16 weeks to from my delivery date to my wedding, um, get in shape. I had picked out this skin tight, open back wedding dress, you know, a dream dress that actually my sister-in-law tried on for me since we bought it when I was about eight or nine months pregnant. And those of you that know her, know Kara, she's stunning and has the perfect body. So when I bought the dress, I was looking at it on her, maybe not thinking this might not be the best choice for someone who just gave birth, but with the program and with Matt um, doing my macro coaching, we, we did it. We did the transformation in 16 weeks and I was able to fit in the dress and had an awesome wedding day, which was great. Um, and then most recently I just competed in my very first fitness or bikini competition, uh, one year to the day after my daughter Ava was born. So we took the, I decided to do the show mid January. The show was in April. Um, it was about an 11 or 12 week prep. And I did metabolic five or six days a week and I followed a macro coaching plan and it was an awesome experience. I think for myself, it wasn't about being skinny or fitting in a, in a bathing suit on stage. It was about, 
you know, accomplishing a physical goal. And we have so many clients that do it all the time. And I was really motivated and inspired by them um, to kind of push myself to a physical limit that I haven't ever seen through before. Um, one of the sweetest things that my husband said to me about the show wasn't like, oh, you look amazing or anything like that. It was, he said that he was proud of me um, because he didn't think that I'd see it through just because we all have these things that we want. And sometimes we quit after a few weeks when it gets hard. Um, but that he was proud of me for going all the way through the 12 weeks with him. Um, so that was cool. So that pretty much brings us to today. I am currently following macros still. I'm reverse dieting out of where we were at for the show. I'm having a lot of fun with all the extra carbs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, for those of you that did ask, I ate during prep. Um, of course, you're eating less in order to achieve the lean look that you need when you, or that, you know, a lot of us want when we go on stage. Um, but right now I'm still eating great. Um, during prep, I came up with some really good ideas using ideas from other people. Um, and then finding ways to kind of satisfy cravings for myself. Um, we all want pizza and quesadillas and mozzarella sticks, you know, at least most people I know want that kind of stuff. Um, obviously on prep, you can't have that most of the time. I was still getting a cheat meal, you know, until pretty much the end. Um, but I found some awesome ways to satisfy cravings and still hit your numbers. Um, so usually that just means higher protein or moderate carbs with lower fats. So today... I will be cooking up or showing you how to cook up um, one of Will's favorite dishes that I made during prep, which was the pulled pork. Um, I like to say that it's as good as dinosaur barbecue. I know that sounds crazy, but it really, really was amazing. And it's really one of the ways that we survived <laughs> prep without going crazy. So I'm going to bring to you some ideas that are economical, perfect for someone who's busy, um, and really macro friendly or just healthy. You don't have to be tracking macros to cook this kind of stuff. Um, it's just a great idea uh, to have and it's quick, easy, and simple. So we will break here and I will be back with all of my in the kitchen with Kirsty um, supplies for this uh, pulled pork dish that we're going to make today. All right, see you guys soon. Okay, we are back. My head is next to a crock pot and I have all of my ingredients set up for you here so that you can see how simple, how easy this really is. Um, like I said, we're making the pulled pork. So I have my two lean pork loins that I got from Hannaford, which I love. Uh, they have two different kinds. So this one is actually the Inspirations All Natural. It has 2.5 um, grams of fat less than the other one that they sell. That's the Hannaford brand, which um, just to give you an idea on the macros, they're both 23 grams of protein per four ounce serving, um, zero carbs, obviously. And then one of the kinds has four grams of fat per four ounce serving. That's a mouthful. And then the other one only has 1.5. So just pay attention to whatever you pick up. Both are great lean options. Um, so what we're going to do is take two pork loins. Um, this should last you for a while or if you have a family or, or a very large husband like myself. Um, there'll be plenty for dinner and then some for leftovers too, which is always important for me because that just helps with prep the next day. Um, two whole onions. I'm going to slice those. Then our seasonings, which is just salt, pepper. Um, I'm using McCormick bar barbecue seasoning. And then chicken broth. So we're going to take a cup of chicken broth, two sliced onions, and then we're going to season the meat. We're going to stick it in this bad boy and put it on low for a few hours. Um, I've left it in there pretty much all day. I've cooked it on high when I've needed it in um, a shorter time. So that's pretty much up to you and whatever your schedule is. And then, yeah, I'll show you what that looks like in here. And then you'll have to give me a couple hours and um, I'll show you the end result and how quickly it pulls apart. Okay, see you soon. All right, guys, it's been a few hours. I just took the lid off my crock pot and started to pull the pork apart. Um, so I end up with a pot of pulled pork. Um, 
It looks amazing. It smells even more amazing. Um, I'll definitely give you some meal ideas of how to eat the pork now besides just shoving it in your face. Um, definitely salads, wraps, flatbreads. The options are really endless and it's a great alternative if you get bored with your diet, um, get bored of chicken and fish, that kind of thing. So I hope that you like our channel, subscribe to the channel for awesome content coming your way. Um, I hope you enjoyed your first episode of In the Kitchen with Kirsty. For more information or to sign up for a free trial, go to metabolicmeltdown.com and get met addicted.